Hey guys, what's up? This is Osti back at it. Anyway, so this is my second YouTube channel. It's, well, YouTube video on my channel. And it's really shocking to say that, and I hope I'm able to still keep up with it. That being said, I am actually at a local groomer right now trying to get little Oliver's nails trimmed. Hi, would you hi? Would you hi? This is my puppy. I have two dogs. This is just happens to be one of them because his nails are practically raptor claws. And so we are about to go in. I know, you're excited? He's, he's a good boy. And we're about to go in so he can get his nails clips and I can pick up the calendar because Amy, which is my other dog, won a spot on their yearly calendar. And I am so very, very, very proud of her because, you know, that's my dog. My dogs are like your children and I am practically a soccer mom when it comes to my little pupperinos. <laughs> anyway, I'll get back at you guys. And I'm back at my house. So the Oliver's grooming appointment did great. He, I was pretty much there only for the nail trim, but he did get a bath as well and his ears cleaned. Um, they did say he was a little scared of the dryer, which is normal. He is only seven months old, so he is kind of accumulating himself. Amy is also terrified of the dryer, but that's because she had a horror groomer story. I'll get to that later, but in the meantime, I do want to introduce you guys to where Amy. Come here. So this is Amy. Wanna say hi? Come here. Look. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I can get more out of her later. She is a little excited because I'm home and you know, again I'm a soccer mom to them. Look at your happy face. And she goes to a groomer as well, but today was just wasn't her day for the groomer, so I just wanted to introduce you guys now. Yeah, is that you? She's a happy girl. She's very, <laughs> very, very happy. And yeah, so this video, I just wanted to talk about my dogs. Right now, currently I have two, but in August I did have three, as mentioned in my first video that she, I had to put her down, unfortunately. But the crazy part about that is if you guys ever seen the music video for Bastille or Marshmallow, uh, Happier, and the music video itself came out in September, but the day after, because she had, we had to put her down, unfortunately, on August 16th, the actual song itself came out on August 17th. So it's a little crazy to me, and, and in a way, that song really speaks to me, and I can't listen to that song without crying, because I'm an emotional big baby. <laughs> and I shout out to that song altogether, but otherwise, they, these dogs do mean a lot to me, and I do want to show you guys Oliver after his bath. Oliver! Come here, Oliver. Come here. Oh, so he got his nails trimmed. He's he's a spunky boy. He's a spunky boy. So he's all excited. He was in the groomer all day. Little nails done. He got a bath. Pretty good boy. Yeah? Yeah, you went to the groomer? Oh. So, I like to keep balance. I have one small dog, one big dog. Growing up, I also had a Jack Russell Terrier, so instead I just ended up getting another one. Happened to be Oliver. I never had a husky mix before. Amy's my first husky mix. She does have a lot of personality, but for both breeds of dogs living in an apartment, it's kind of funny. When I first got them, everyone was like, oh, you're going to have so much trouble. The, the breeds, they're stubborn, they're hyper, which is true. I, I met Huskies and Jack Russell Terriers that were very stubborn and hyper and all over the place. But in conclusion, that breed doesn't matter. These guys, they live in the apartment just fine. I give them their needed exercise. We go on walks and all is good. All is good. But I'm going to try to portray... Some of my videos towards them actually at a dog park, which is, it's pretty nice, it's pretty nice, and that's, I want to try to upload these kind of videos where I sit down and talk and everything more on Thursdays. I think I have more of a schedule in mind from my previous videos, but that's fine with me. So now I just wanted to introduce them to you. Furthermore, I'm going to also go on her groomer horror story since I did introduce them. So her groomer horror story, Amy, for training to Amy, which I don't know where she is at the moment. 
I took her in for a bath on, mm, she was about Oliver's age, so she was about six, seven months old as well. And at that time, she went to a groomer a few times. They did say she was a little nervous with the dryer, as they did with Oliver, but they just kind of accumulated them with it a little bit and then put them in one of their drying crates where it has like a dryer on the side and dries that way and back then there was this one time I went to this particular grooming salon it is in Jacksonville but I'm not gonna say any names or blast any company in particular but I made an appointment they gave me the appointment name I went in with her I was like and they're like yeah we could definitely do it we could definitely give her a bath you know trim her nails because that's all I was doing at the time uh, that was before she was actually getting groomed and when I took her in, everything seemed good. I was like, all right, it was recommended to me to go to that place. So, sounds good to me. Give my dog a bath. So they took her in. Everything was all right at first. Everything was good. Once they took her in, they said, it's gonna be roughly an hour. I was like, all right, roughly an hour, that's fine. I can go back home, finish up some stuff, come back and pick her up. So I go home do whatever I need to do. I probably was playing a video game or something until I got a call. They called, said she was done. I was like, okay, cool, she's done. I go back to the grooming salon. They had this little area next to their desk that was like a room where they put the dogs in before they pick up. Ooh, that, that got out of focus quick. And she was in that room there. So I walked in, they're like, oh yeah, she's in that room. And I was like, oh, can I just walk in? And they're like, yeah, sure. I walk in, fur was everywhere everywhere she was curled in a corner shaking and then they go yeah she was a little scared of the dryer so we just threw her in there and i she i would come in and it took her a second for her to come to me which is really weird of her and uh hi amy welcome back when she eventually came back to me uh she was soaked she was very wet still she had very wet fur and I get her furs dense it takes her a second for her to dry up and everything but ew that's my armpit mm. but anyway, when that happened uh I turned around I was like oh she was scared of the dryer um okay and I was like do you guys have the actual groomer here? And he was like, oh, I just went ahead and did it myself. And I was like, oh, okay. He's like, yeah, we don't have a groomer right now. So he he was just a, an experienced guy giving her a bath. And I was expecting a groomer to actually give her the bath and dry her. So it was a little, it was a little frustrating. And I, th I don't know what happened exactly in that grooming salon that she was just thrown in a room with fur everywhere and... It, it rubbed me off on the wrong way and ever since then I was very wary about groomers and like dryers and stuff when it came to her so I really appreciated they told me that he was just a little nervous with it and they just kind of put him in a box that dried them and they do that with her now they try to get her accumulated to it a little bit more now but that's about it another time she had a weird drying experience and I mean I'm not a groomer I don't know if this is something you're supposed to do if it's not supposed to what you're supposed to do I don't know that at all but I took her to a different place and this was a place that we went to for her shots instead and when I got there after her bath after they gave me the specific time frame uh, I, I heard the dryer running and I was like oh and I went to go look to see what they were doing they were chasing her around the room with the dryer letting her knock down things and I was like, oh, just, you know what? I'll, I'll dry her. Give me my dog. <laughs> it made me really uncomfortable. They're just chasing her around a room. And so, yeah, Amy's scared of dryers. Oliver is, I guess, a little nervous of them. But other than that, they're, they're good dogs. They do good. They're both house trained. Oliver, for being seven months, he does know sit, shake, lay down, stay. Amy knows bow. All of those things that Oliver knows and bow. So she'll bow down to you. They both know go to your crate. Like, they're good dogs. I, I, I love my dogs. Those were just like little situations that do make them nervous as a trigger. But it happens. That's all you can really say about it. Anyway, 
Go ahead and comment if you have any experiences with your dogs that are bad, that are good, any places that you've ever been before that are really cool around the country or even around the world. Like if you've been to a specific dog park that was really cool or like a dog friendly place, I would like to hear them. Or in general, if you have a different animal, I like cats. We live with a cat. I We have birds. Well, actually we don't have any birds, but I do like birds. I can hear some bird stories, some reptile stories, some fish stories. I Tell me about your animals. Tell me what, how many animals you have. I'd like to hear them. Go ahead and comment that below. And as always, subscribe, subscribe. Go ahead and like the video and I'll see you next time. Bye.